My great uncle wears a ski hat all the time, Griffin, will be followed by Nick Nolte's handkerchief, followed by Japanese Abe Lincoln, and then Monkey Rabbi. Hey, where's the Monkey Rabbi? Here's your Torah. You'll be here on Tuesday at 9. Check in with Shirley. You gonna need me this week? Ah, uh, maybe. Maybe Friday. Uh, now, where are the gays? Over here. No, no, no. The really cartoony gays. Yoo-hoo! There you are. We're gonna need you guys all week. Oh, I see. Oh, you're all here because you heard the news. Well, fine. Peter Griffin crapped himself at work. Happy? Peter. No, no, Lois. Well, let's get it all out. I'm sure you also heard that someone walked into my office while I was sucking on my own toes. And do I go fast walking in nurses' shoes every Saturday in the park? Yes, I do. Peter, we're not here because of any of that. Okay, I know what this is about. Somebody saw me holding hands with a guy at Quiznos this morning. All right. And was I involved in the Oklahoma City bombing? A little bit. No, Peter, you're not getting it. Okay, we'll go deeper. Yeah, I was swindled by that cat who said he was from the future. Turns out he was just a present-day cat with a smooth sales pitch. Dad, you don't understand. Oh, I understand. I understand I've made hundreds of deadly enemies by shouting racial taunts up at the jailhouse windows. Oh, and another thing. Raise your hand if you think ducks are magic. And up it goes. Peter's the only one. Peter, that's not why they're here. And no, none of us heard about you soiling yourself at work. Well, you'll always be a big shot in this family, sweetheart. Thanks, honey. And I got a little surprise for you. In that contract you signed, you got to keep the corporate plane. <gasps> Yeah! Peter, how are you doing that? I, 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 don't, I don't know, Lois. I'm scared. Well, come down. I, I can't. I, I, I get help. Call somebody. Well, who, who do I call? I, I, I don't know. A, a police, a fire, a, a scientist. Call a scientist. Uh, okay, you can stay here with your father. I'm going to go find a scientist. Am I going to die? Okay, four pizzas and a salad. Salad? How do you make a salad? First, you throw in the whole head of lettuce. Even the hard-to-eat white part at the bottom? That's what the people want. Now, what else? I got a can of whole black olives. Should I slice them up? What, are you crazy? No, you keep them whole. You're gonna want to know you've got an olive in your mouth. What about this tomato? Cut it into thirds. It should be big enough to pretend you've got red teeth. How about this carrot? Should I cut it up? Yes, but very thin lengthwise. The whole length of the carrot. One thin slice. Okay, what else do we got? Well, we got these hot peppers, but you can't really eat them. No problem. Dump them all in. Now, should we put it in a bowl? No, let's put it in a lasagna tray. Okay, great. I'll take it. Oh, and make sure to stick it right on top of the pizza so it stays nice and warm. Hello, every pizza place. Well, that's it. Three days wasted looking through 200,000 lottery tickets. Those weren't the lottery tickets. That was a test. These are the lottery tickets. Is this another test? Yes. These aren't the real lottery tickets either. These are the real lottery tickets. So in addition to buying 200,000 lottery tickets, you had 400,000 fake ones printed up? I had to be sure. Wow, Dad, you're up early. Yep, it's a mustache kind of morning, Chris. I watch the sunrise in my jeans, jean shirt, and jean jacket. Gosh, mustache culture is pretty cool. You betcha, son. I'm going to make you some hash browns for breakfast, and then later I'm going to take you down to the whorehouse to lose your virginity. Would you like that? Would I? I faked my own death once. <laughs> no dentist appointment for this guy. God, this is such an East Coast pharmacy. How are we going to find gauze and bandages in the middle of all this crap? Uh, I think he keeps them next to the thousand-piece puzzle of a lobster trap. I don't see it. You mean next to the Kadima paddles or next to the basic black sweatshirt with no writing on it? No, I think they're over there between the rain ponchos and the cap guns and just below the balsa wood gliders and the net bag of flip-flops and a beach pail. Above the set of jacks? Yes, above the jacks and the bicentennial playing cards and across from the giant cage with the beach balls next to the wiffle ball bats and the spark spitting cars. I don't... Oh, next to the wax bottles of weird juice. Yes, behind the plastic bag of Mexican soldiers from the Alamo and the super elastic bubble plastic. Oh, yeah, I got him. Brian, look what I won. Wow, what'd you win that for? For having the best pig in the competition. Wait, you bred a pig? Sure did. Most genetically perfect one in the contest. Oink. Oh my god! Yes, he's something, isn't he? Are those fists? Damn right, show him, pig! Damn it, you guys are ruining Thanksgiving! And it's my second favorite holiday, right after pretend not to notice people's race day. Hey, you seen Reggie around? Which one is Reggie? Oh, uh, well, today he's wearing yellow pants, uh, yellow shirt, 
yellow hat, yellow shoes. Uh, he's got a gold tooth, a uh, diamond earring. Um, he's got that big necklace with a dollar sign on it. Uh, he's always grabbing his crotch when he's telling a story, like the one about when he found out his mother is really his grandmother. Could you be more specific? Uh, oh, let's see. Uh, he always wears cheap cologne, uh, drives a Mercury Cougar with a crown on the dashboard, uh, never pays his alimony. Uh, he's extremely cut for a guy who never works out. Oh, there he is. Thanks anyway. Hey, Reggie. All right, class. Today, as a special treat, I'm going to show you this fascinating episode of Nova that I taped at home for you. You coming back to bed, Rob? Oh, hang on, honey. Hang on. My jaw keeps locking up. Oh, well, that's uh, not Nova at all, is it? <laughs> that's a sex tape I made with my wife. Of course, nobody here is interested in seeing that sort of thing. Are they? Probably not. No. Okay. Oh, you kind of look like you were nodding. No, oh, okay. Okay, we should get back to work. Hi, everybody. Hello, Colonel Tushfinger. I just built a spaceship. Want to come up in space with me in it? Whoa, 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 cut, cut, cut. Cleveland, what are you doing? I just figured I'd give Colonel Tushfinger an Australian thing. Colonel Tushfinger lives on the moon, you idiot. He talks with a moon accent, you know? He talks like this with a moon accent. You understand? I am Colonel Tushfinger, and I live on the moon, so I talk like this with a moon accent. Do that! You think he's dead? I don't know. Hey. Hey, buddy. <whistles> What's his name? Uh, 